Hi, welcome back. And uh, in the last two videos, I've showed you how to sign up for a new domain uh, on Google.com as well as a new web hosting account with HostGator.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to link the new domain to your web host account. It is important to do so because um, your uh, domain has to point to your web host name servers otherwise your domain will not show up on your web browser even though you have installed your website on your new web hosting account now once you are at the Google login page for your new domain go ahead and sign in with your username and password and then click on sign in now what you see on your screen right now is the dashboard of your new domain all right after your sign in and uh, in order to access your domain um, settings you've got to click on domain settings on the top here and then subsequently on domain names all right that should bring you to a page whereby you see a link right here that says advanced DNS settings so click on that that should bring you to the page whereby you will see your uh, sign-in name, your password, as well as your sign-in to DNS console link. All right. So go ahead and click on sign-in to DNS console. That will bring you to the um, domain control center. And in my case, I registered the uh, new domain with GoDaddy. You can see the GoDaddy.com sign up here. So key in your login name and password and then click on Secure Login. Now, once you click on your sign in, you should see your GoDaddy domain control panel. And right here, you see that my website is appearing on the dashboard. Click on your website. For my case, it's this link here. And that should bring you to another page whereby you see the um, name servers. All right. Right now, the name servers are pointing to domaincontrol.com, which has been automatically set for you by Google when you purchase the domain on Google. Now, what you want to do is to click on set name servers. All right. And then choose the radio button I have specific name servers for my domains okay and change the two name servers to the ones that is given to you by your web host and in my case it's going to be hostgator now if you don't already remember your uh, hostgator name servers or your web host hostgator for that matter check your um, email inbox when you sign up for the web host it should give you the necessary information if uh, it's not contained within the email then drop a mail to your web host uh, to check what is your name server but in most cases it should be given to you once you sign up with your web host so I'm gonna type in my web host uh, information right here okay and uh, it's going to be HostGator, all right. There's actually two name servers, so you should make sure that you put in both. So in my case, it's ns721 hostgator.com and ns722 hostgator.com. All right. Once uh, you've keyed in your two name servers, click on OK. Now it says here your changes have been submitted. This change usually take two hours sometimes it may take up to 48 hours so what it means down here is that the process of changing your name servers is not immediate alright you've got to wait uh, for two hours usually and uh, sometimes it might take up to two days but my experience has been that it usually takes about one to two hours so what to do now is uh, go ahead and log out and I'll see you in the next video bye for now